This wig is glueless. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. The name is Palissa M and today we're doing a wig review. This wig is from Dorsani Hair. They sent me a gorgeous pre-cut glueless lace wig. I've never ever had to install such a wig but there's always a first time. I'm just showing you the package. Obviously wig caps are a must. Then they sent some lashes and this Dorsani wig strap band. It is so soft. The hair came in this silky bag which is convenient for storage of wigs and this is what the wig looks like it is a body wave wig very full i do like the way it feels and on the inside it has an adjustable strap but look at that lace it's too light for my liking so i am going to have to bleach the knots the band is very stretchy and very soft and it is a removable this is what the wig looks like on top and what we're going to do is i'm going to bleach the knots i use the clicks highlight refill kit so it's just bleach powder and 30 volume developer i used everything that was left in there because there was not much left anyway and i just made my bleach mixture by adding the peroxide to the powder and mixing it really well i don't really make it too watery because it will seep through and go onto the hair and what i did is i used the box to kind of prop the wig up and then applied it using the spoon So when applying the bleach powder, don't apply too much pressure because then it is going to seep through and bleach the root of the hair. So I'm just kind of applying it gently, like applying butter onto bread, but not pressing it down too hard, if you get what I'm saying. But that's all I'm doing. This is what it looks like. I am going to leave this on for between 20 to 30 minutes. The knots are white, white so i did want to get rid of that and i decided on 25 minutes and when that was done i went ahead and i washed the bleach off and this is what the knots are looking like a little bit on the brassy side but that's what purple shampoo is made for and i'm using this provoke silver shampoo it is purple what i do is i just put it on that lace and then leave it on for a few minutes and then just go about rinsing it out and doing the whole conditioning thing I'm using the Tresemme um, moisture conditioner today just to add back that moisture into the hair. I find this conditioner makes my wigs really, really nice and silky. So that's what I'm going to be using today. I'm going to apply it, brush it through, get rid of any tangles and things. So I'm using the Sobe Keratin Smoothing Oil. I love this stuff and the bottle is so affordable. I bought it at Clicks if you want to try it, but it works really, really well for wigs and stuff. So I just applied that onto the hair. So I did go ahead and curl this hair on the mannequin head because I don't know how to curl my hair on my head. I'm just applying it and as you can see, I am pulling that strap tighter so that lace can sit as flat as possible. This strap really is very soft, like it wasn't digging into my hair and I love that. And then I went ahead and placed the wig over my head. I know these curls look a little bit crazy, but we're going to, you know, trust the process. Trust me, it's going to look good. So I'm just placing that wig properly and then we are going to work on styling these curls because I don't know, I look like somebody, mama or grandmother in these curls. 
using a white tooth comb i'm just combing through those curls and i'm letting them drop because i actually wanted a wave and not like curls curls so that's just what i'm doing i'm trying to place this wig as best as possible and combing those curls out i am going to be using a hot comb to flatten the top there because you can see there's like a big bump at the top so using a hot comb i am going to flatten that So I couldn't find my wax stick and if you didn't know, using your spray like got to be, just spray it on the roots and then I take my hot comb and I press it down. It works the same as a wax stick and honestly them wax sticks be a little bit too pricey for me so using this does really work for me and it's just convenient until I find my wax stick again. So I'm just pressing down those roots just so it lays a little bit flatter, you know. So here's the thing about having a bang, you need to keep playing with the curls so they can place nicely. I'm going to finish off by applying my OGX Moroccan Argan Oil just to give my hair some sheen and get rid of any frizz. At this stage the curls were holding but I did keep moving my fingers in these curls and I ended up losing almost all of them but it is what it is, it does look good and that is the install practically i think i like what came out here you know it looks kind of cute and i'm always in the middle part so this was refreshing i think And that's it for the install. I'm just playing with the curls, trying to place my bang correctly, child. So this is the final look. I love this little side part bang. Like, I am obsessed with the middle part. You guys would know I love myself a middle part. But this, like the side part and the way I cut the bangs and the way they curl, just the way it lays, I absolutely love this wig. This wig is from Dosani Hair. They sponsored this video and sent me a 22 inch 6x6 pre-cut lace body wave wig this is 180 density it's nice and full the hair is nice and silky has a lot of movement um couldn't really hold the curls but i do like the waves so i'm not mad about that this wig is glueless so i did not use any form of glue no mousse nothing no got to be it is a glueless unit but I love the way it fits fits very nicely that adjustable band is nice and soft there at the back and if you're interested in buying this wig I'm going to leave all the details and the links in the description box down below if you have any questions please do leave them for me in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one